Arabs are firm believers in nasab, inherited merit passed on from father to son, a nobility of the blood. So what mattered when a rebellion broke out in Syria in 2011 was the insight into the similarities and the differences between Hafez al-Assad and his son Bashar. The father had rigged the succession with fear completing the trick. In the Syrian rebellion, Middle East expert Fawad Ajami explains how an irresistible force clashed with an immovable object, the regime versus a people who conquered fear to challenge a despot of unspeakable cruelty. I've written this book, I think it's my, perhaps it's my, my favorite book. I mean, I know authors say this all the time that the most recent book is their favorite book. But I've written this book, The Syrian Rebellion, out of a sense of urgency. I never really thought I would write it. I kept keeping a record of my responses to the ordeal and to the pain of Syria. I was born in, in Lebanon, right next door to Syria. Syria was this place I knew so well. Uh, the city of Hama, which came to great grief and great fame under this terrible, monstrous regime, the family of the Assads, was also known to me. So when the Arab rebellion, when the Arab awakening uh, came to Syria, the expectation was it would be short, it would be brief. So I would write these comments about the, the Syrian rebellion, I would write these columns, but then the regime hung on and the pain of Syria continued. And this book emerged. I felt almost a certain sense of calling. Uh, I owed it to the children of Syria. I owed it to the people of Syria. You have this society struggling, if you will, to, to find its way in the world. And it faces this tyrannical regime. It has this ruling family, the Assad family. They have plundered the country. They have abused the country. They have terrorized the country. And in a way, the Assads believe that they would rule forever. There is even an expression in Arabic. It rhymes in Arabic very well. It says, al-Assad ila al-Abad, which means the Assads forever. This regime is dug in, is determined to win, and the rebellion, for its part, is determined to prevail and to rid itself of, of the Assad tyranny. And that's really the pain of Syria. And that's where I left this book. I left this book at this point, where the people of Syria will not accept the tyranny of this regime. And this regime believes it can ride out the storm and believes that one more dose of repression will do the trick. The Syrian rebellion tells how a proud people came to demand something more than a despotic regime of dictatorship and plunder. To learn more, pick up your copy today.